tonight, tonight, tonight. I opened up my eyes. Tonight, tonight, tonight. I'm wide open. Hi, I'm Mabel. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and join the family, you know, all that good stuff. Thank you. I watch Mabel Munch. I am not a relationship expert and I am not here to teach you how to spice up your love life but I'm here to show you how to make a super amazing surprise luxury breakfast. Anyways, this is a 4-in-1 recipe video which includes how to make my signature red velvet pancakes with a tasty buttercream topping and chocolate drip red velvet mackerel sandwich my signature devil eggs and lastly the pina colada mm. pina colada is a tropical drink that originates from a caribbean island called puerto Ow. rico often served in fancy beach clubs and luxury islands anyways first of all we're going to start with these delicious red velvet pancakes i'll list the ingredients mm. I'm going to mix all the dry ingredients in a bowl first. In goes the all-purpose flour, sieved, the dry milk, baking powder, baking soda, salt, sugar, and lastly cocoa powder. I'm going to mix that slowly using a hand wix. Next in line is the wet ingredients. So first of all, I'm going to crack in the eggs. I'm cracking the eggs this way because I don't want to ruin the rest of the egg if one egg goes bad. So this method is really safe. The next thing to do is to add some water, then I'm going to add the melted butter, some butterscotch flavor. Yes, you can use vanilla but butterscotch takes your pancakes to the next level, believe me. Lastly, I'll add the vegetable oil and some red food coloring, just a little. So I'll proceed to mix that together. The next step is to gently scoop the dry ingredient into the wet ingredient. This way you can control the texture. So I'll scoop that in batches and gently mix them till there are no lumps in the batter. By the way, this recipe makes up to 12 or more pancakes. The batter consistency is perfect and it is ready now. So it is time to fry the pancakes. Okay, so this should cook perfectly on both sides for less than 60 seconds or one minute. Yes, and the pancakes are ready. Don't worry if it looks dark, it is completely normal for a red velvet pancake to look that way. And um, yeah. So guys, that is my signature red velvet pancake recipe. So now it is time to make the red velvet mackerel sandwich. So I'm going to add one cup of water into a clean bowl. Next in is the dry milk and then mix it slowly to combine. I'm going to add lemon juice, which can be substituted with um, vinegar water or lime. Yes, then I'm going to crack the eggs and add it to the mixture. The next thing is to mix this thoroughly using a hand mixer. I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar, then add in some vanilla butternut flavor. Guys, you know, just play around with your flavors. This is actually the flavor I enjoy using, but you can use another, you can use vanilla. And lastly, cocoa powder and some red food color then you're going to slice the bread diagonally into halves i'm going to proceed to add some butter into the pan then i'll take each half of the bread soak it in the egg mixture and milk toast it on both sides till it's crispy and i am done with the toast repeat the similar process for the remaining bread so let's make the filling for the sandwich I'm using canned mackerel, you can use fresh ones. I'm going to mash this with the back of a spoon till it's almost like a paste, then mix it with a little mayonnaise. After that, I'll start building the sandwich layer by layer. Just look at how cute this looks. So I'll just proceed with the rest until I've exhausted my filling. That's it. So for the third recipe, we're going to be making my signature deviled eggs. <laughs> So I've just divided my eggs and what I'm going to do is scoop out the yolk into a clean bowl. The next step is to simply mash them to become fine crumbs. The next step is to add some shredded carrots to the egg crumbs 
followed by some chicken franks and cut into cubes then I'll just mix them together before adding the mayonnaise lastly so yummy so the last step is to gently scoop these back into the egg and don't be tempted to eat them because they are beyond tasty when I gave this to my dad I didn't expect him to gobble this in seconds I mean who wouldn't and that guys is my signature deviled eggs simply the best deviled eggs to ever exist yes that's on period now it is time for our last but not the least recipe the pina colada pause please ignore any background sound you're hearing i know it's quite disturbing and i'm sorry it's so hard to a sit down video here in nigeria with all the noisy neighbors and annoying family members actually look how this sounds pina colada let me show you how this one's made first things first you need a pineapple to remove the pineapple flesh, you need a core remover knife or you can just use your regular kitchen knife. First, you are going to slice the pineapple crown off horizontally, then cut around the inner circumference. Be careful so that you don't damage the endo cap because this will serve as our cocktail cup. Then cut through into squares and gently scoop out the flesh with a metal spoon. Carefully scrape out any leftover pineapple flesh and this is how it should look like when you're done. I would actually advise you to do this the day before you're making the pina colada so that the pineapple flesh is actually removed it gets to freeze well and it also saves time so that when you're making the breakfast it doesn't like become so much of a burden so fast forward to the next day let's make a tasty pina colada okay guys so i'm going to add all the ingredients in a blender first in goes the frozen pineapple some coconut milk rum i'm using um, captain jack lime juice and honey and just like that the pina colada is ready this can be served in a fancy glass cup or in a pineapple like this for some tropical vibes so all you need is a fancy sip straw and a paper parasol to complete the tax remember this is a surprise breakfast and you're going to serve this in a tea tray or any fancy tray of your choice I've got this super small and cute tray that will be used to serve the breakfast. So first of all, I've plated the sandwich in a pretty small saucer. I'll add the chicken franks along with the deviled eggs and then I'll place the pancakes too and the peanut bladder by the side. That is not all guys. Remember I said we're going to serve our red rubber pancakes with some buttercream and chocolate drip and then that is what I'm going to do. So I'll sprinkle some coconut chips all over that and we are D to the O N E done. Guys, please tell me how it's possible to resist this. I don't know about you, but this breakfast is goals, dairy goals. So finally, what I did was write a little appreciation or love note on a tag. You don't have to use mine, just make sure your words are sincere. Or if you don't have time, browse the internet. Anyways. I'm going to attach this tag to a skewer I inserted in my sandwich. You can use a little note or a card. Just be creative and do you. So guys, that is it. My exotic surprise breakfast is ready to be launched. Guess who I'm going to give this to? The whole family. Yes, because everybody is going to want a piece of this tree. Trust me. So guys, this is all for today on this episode of the luxury surprise breakfast. Which of these recipes would you love to try? It doesn't have to be everything, you can choose one. Either the red velvet pancakes, the mackerel sandwich, the deviled eggs or even the peanut platter smoothie. If you're a visitor, please subscribe. And then, Please remember to share this video too because it might be saving a life. Don't forget your comments and likes, your engagements matter to me as well. So goodbye, goodbye, goodbye and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.